Hi there, Darren Alf here from BicycleTrainPro.com. I'm in Central Oregon at the moment, and today I wanted to talk about being alone. So many people see me on my bike tours all around the world and they say, don't you get lonely? Isn't that lonely? How can you stand being alone all the time? Or they say something like, I would love to do what you're doing, but I can't imagine doing a trip like that by myself. And I get this question all the time, questions and comments about being lonely or being alone out on the road. And one of the first things that I guess I should say is that I have been bike touring around the world for 18 years now, and probably 97%, I'm just guessing, of my time on the road has been completely by myself, whether that means biking or camping, or even when I'm like staying in hotels or something, it's just by myself. Um, so 97% of the time I'm probably by myself. The other 3% of the time I have met travelers out on the road or I'm traveling perhaps with somebody that I know. So um, I've spent a lot of time on my own traveling in foreign countries and domestically um, by myself. And one of the first things I guess that I should say from a positive standpoint about traveling by yourself is that it's awesome because you get to do whatever you want. Um, you can eat whatever you want, drink whatever you want, go wherever you want, do whatever you want, interact with the people that you want to, sleep where you want to, uh, change your route however you want to, um, cycle at whatever speed you want to, etc. And I think that's a huge advantage in many ways. However, some people need the motivation of others to keep them going forward. So being by yourself does require a certain amount of self-motivation. You have to be able to get up every morning and say, okay, I'm gonna do this by myself, you know? And uh, some people do struggle with that and I completely understand. So it's a little bit about knowing who you are as well. And, and I know for me, I've always kind of been a loner. So it's very comfortable for me to be out here by myself. Um, and being with other people is actually more of a challenge for me. But I understand that for some people that is reversed, whereas they want to be with other people and being alone is the challenge. So it's a little bit about knowing yourself. The other thing that I should say about being alone uh, versus being with other people is that you can determine how much alone time you have when you're traveling by bicycle. Now, I oftentimes seek out uh, lonely spots like this one where no one's around uh, because I enjoy that. But if I wanted to, it would be very easy for me to cycle into town and stay at a hostel or a hotel where there are other people around that I could interact with. So uh, there are choices that you make out on a bike tour that ultimately determine uh, how lonely you are going to be. The, the, the one major point that I wanted to make in this video about being alone and loneliness and all this sort of thing is that when I am alone on a bike tour and I wake up in the morning and I'm alone and I know that I'm going to be alone all day long essentially or, or I believe I'm going to be alone all day long, um, I wake up with that expectation that, okay, I'm by myself and I'm not going to be talking to anybody else unless I happen to run into somebody. And this is different than say, when you're at home, let's say you're at home right now, and you, you've set up a date, not a romantic date, but just a date, it could be a romantic date, but let's say you've set up a date with your friend, and she, uh, she cancels right at the last minute. She, you know, you've, you've, all day long you've been looking forward to meeting up with her, and you've, you've made plans to, to go out and do something, and then right at the last minute she cancels. Um, what happens to me when that happens is that's when I feel lonely in a situation like that because my expectations have been built up and then they're suddenly crushed. So that's the feeling for me where I feel like, oh man, I am really alone now. Uh, whereas when I'm on a bike tour, I wake up in the morning with no expectations of talking to anybody or meeting anybody. And so when I do meet somebody on the road, uh, just by happenstance or whatever, um, it really lifts me up because it's like, okay, my expectations were really low and now 
I'm being pumped up high because I met someone. It is cool. Oh, wow, I met someone. I wasn't expecting that to happen. You know what I mean? Versus when you're at home and you, you, the person that you were ex expecting to meet up with and had high expectations for suddenly doesn't deliver. And, and the same can be true in like a lot of circumstances. Like you could actually meet up with this girl or friend or whoever it is and but the conversation doesn't flow the way you were hoping it would and and she's looking at her phone the whole time and not paying any attention to you that can feel very lonely as well so once again it's like your expectations are high and and that when they don't deliver then you feel lonely so for me when i'm on my bike tours i kind of wake up in the morning not expecting anything to happen and when something does happen which happens quite occasionally on a bike tour um, then I feel elevated and happy because I had some experience that I was not expecting. So I think it's all about perspective, right? It's about how you view your situation. And I would encourage those people who uh, want to go bicycle touring but are afraid maybe to do it for themselves, know first of all that like, it might be very good for you to go out on a bike tour and do something by yourself for potentially the first time in your life. When I was 17 years old, I did my first bike tour from Oregon to Mexico down the California coastline and that really was like the first time in my life where I ever did something away from my parents. And the following year, I cycled across America on the Trans-American bicycle route and I went completely alone and that was the first time in my life at age 18 that I had ever done anything completely by myself for such a long length of time. And I think it really benefited me in a whole lot of ways doing that trip. So think about it that way. One, it's probably good for you to some extent to spend some time alone. Two, it's a matter of perspective. So it's all about how you kind of view the world and see the world and think about your situation. And three, there are things that you can do to interact with people once you're out there on the road. There are decisions that you can make to make your bicycle tour more social. So those are the three things I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you have a question or comment about being alone or loneliness uh, on a bicycle tour, leave a comment down below. Be sure to visit my website at BicycleTrainPro.com for more information on this subject and a whole lot more. And I look forward to hearing about your future bicycle tours, whether they be alone or with a friend, family member, or loved one. Thanks guys, I'm Darren Alf from BicycleTrainPro.com and I hope to see you out on the road sometime soon.